everyone, I'm Marcy with Murals by Marcy, and this is my codependent Beagle, Miley, who just decided that she needed to be right here, right now, so I'm not even gonna fight it. So have you ever got that feeling where you just wanna change everything? That's been going on with me recently with my living room. I'm tired of all these uh, warm tones and a lot of the reds, and I thought I need to change everything. So the other day, I took all the furniture out, I took down the drapes, the decorations, and I sold them all in a yard sale. The bad thing is, if I have company over, there's nowhere to sit. So I really need to get a move on with this makeover of mine. So I'm gonna do something about this wall here. I wanna make it a real focal point in the room. Uh, and then I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna go from these warmer hues to the more cool gray tones. So today, I'm just gonna start by painting. I finished painting the living room. This is sort of a grayish beige. It's called Modest Silver by Valspar, and I really like how it turned out. But you'll notice that I didn't paint this back wall. As I told you, we wanted to make this sort of the focal point of the room because this is the wall that the TV sits on. And we thought we'd do one of those cool wood accent walls. Now there's a bunch of different ways that you can do this. There's all sorts of products out there. You can do everything from take apart palettes that are free and then just put them up there uh, to this one product called stick wood that literally has a peel and stick that you put back on there very easy but very expensive unfortunately so I'm going to show you what we decided to use this is redwood bender board and I like it not just because it's thin but because it looks really rough and you get all sorts of variation with each piece and they come in varying lengths this particular one is eight foot long by about four inches across. Now what you do is you measure your wall. This one is 10 by 12. So basically when you multiply that, that's how you get your square footage. Mine is 120 square feet that I have to fill. And these run about 250 a piece roughly. So we're gonna do this whole wall for about $100. Of course, I'm also going to be staining the slats, so you can add another $15 because I bought three different kinds of stain. This one's a weathered gray that I really love. This one, willow, that's light and I think will work well together. And then this one, I may or may not use. It's ebony. I just am concerned about it looking too busy. So we'll see if I end up using that one. My husband and I are going to be tackling this project together. So while I take care of the staining, he's going to take care of the electrical and the wall mount for the TV. I decided to cut the wood before I stain it since I'm using three different stains. That way I know how many I want of each color. Also, you'll notice I cut them at varying lengths, four feet, three feet, and two feet because I don't want it to look overly uniform. going with the two shades of stain because I felt that the ebony was too dark and I was able to get plenty of variation just by mixing the two back and forth. I let them dry overnight and I even brought them inside so that it could acclimate to the temperature indoors and now we're ready for the installation. Meantime, my husband has taken care of some rewiring for our TV and audio components. And these uh, white pieces of tape are just up here to mark where the studs are because we've decided we are going to nail the wood slats onto the wall using brad nails. Now we could choose to glue it, that is an option, but let's face it, this is just a style and someday we may want to take off the wood wall. So we want to make sure that we do as minimal damage to the drywall as possible and using brad nails is going to achieve that.
this wall ended up taking a whole lot longer than we expected, but we did learn a lot along the way. The main thing is I chose this redwood bender board because I like the fact that it looked kind of rough and I really didn't want any two pieces to look exactly alike. Definitely achieved that. However, the problem came when we went to nail the pieces onto the wall. You can see how because they weren't the same, that became an immediate problem. So something to keep in mind should you decide to do a similar project, doesn't matter what material you're using, but go ahead and cut them in advance, making sure that all your widths are exactly alike and that'll save you a lot of time in the long haul. Well, we're gonna clean up, bring in the furniture and put this room together and then I'll show you the final reveal. Here is my new eclectic living room. It's a mixture of old and new, rustic and bling. It's basically everything I love. By switching out the wall color from the warm beige to the cooler gray tones, I was able to work in some pops of color, my two favorite colors, violet and turquoise. They're not colors that you would typically see in a living room, but they're very personal to me. And when doing a makeover, it should be something that you really love. Well, I can tell you that my dog Miley is already making herself at home in here. I hope you were inspired by this makeover and want to take on a makeover of your own. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my other blog entries at Murals by Marcy on Facebook and MuralsByMarcy.com. Thanks for watching.